What is up, everybody? It is a great day for some FIFA, and it is a beautiful day because I am joined by a very special human being, Mr. Stuart Holden. Stuart, what's up, buddy? Steven, it's a pleasure. Uh, I'm just also wondering why you didn't get dressed up. Did uh, you not know that I was coming? Did yeah. you roll out of bed? No, Were you doing a yeah. workout? I missed I miss the uh, the email this morning. I was like, hey, you need to dress really nice. You look great. <laughs> I mean, truth be told, I even pulled out the pocket square for you. Got you got a pocket square. Truth be told, you always look good. I always say, whenever I see you on TV, I'm like, Dang, man, Stu's looking good. I was about to give you a nice resume builder, oh, okay, but I think... Yeah, yeah. I just wanted to jump in and you you know, that set in? the stakes early that this is right. nothing friendly about this. I was going to be like, oh, you know, this guy is a Houston Dynamo legend, U.S. international, played in the World Cup. Anything else? Am I missing? Humanitarian of the Year. I had to remind oh, you that you were the humanitarian. I had to remind him about it. Well, you didn't have work. to remind me. Oh, yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. <laughs> and now, lead analyst for Fox Sports, congratulations on that. That's Thank awesome, you, dude. Man. I do. I totally hey, playing in a World Cup and then calling a World Cup, dude. I totally, I totally relate to that. That's like, yeah. Tell me, yeah. Let's talk about something we can't relate to. FIFA, um, FIFA which is something <laughs> we cannot relate to. So why don't we play against each other now? We can do it. Uh, you can pick your team, or we can maybe do a little uh, Texas Derby, a little Houston Dynamo versus FC Dallas. I'm totally in for that because uh, El Capitan will be coming back. Oh. To Houston. <laughs> okay. Are we playing for anything? What are we, anything in um, push-ups? Love push. Oh my gosh! Burpees. Yes, yeah, push-ups, push-ups. Oh, I love a good push-up. With right. the blazer on. With the blazer. <laughs> and pocket square attached. All right, so let's play. Listen, I love playing on the back. Little you know play. that Ricardo Clark used to eat a uh, turkey and avocado sandwich for lunch every day. Really? Yeah, when we were at the Dynamo. I mean, you could find him at the the breakfast table and the lunch table all day before training and after training, and he would actually take a nap. You know, before that, sometimes during training too. It's pretty incredible. <laughs> if you could pick your favorite five aside, you include it. Who's who? Four teammates are you going with? Oh my goodness, that's a um, tough question. From I MLS? MLS. Let's go MLS. Um, I mean, I was part of that Dynamo team that won the two championships back to back. Mm. Um, yeah. Which I was, yeah. No big deal. Which I was not a starter for for the first, especially the first year and a half, two years. So. I had some really good guys on that team, guys. I would put Dwayne De Rosario in that team Dero. for sure. I mean, so Dwayne's in there. Dwayne. You know who else I want in my team? I want Brian Ching. Brian Ching, yeah. Oh, because Brian in practice was a guy that just didn't want to lose anything. And, you know, if you get it up to him. And, although, are we talking current playing form or like in their prime? Because Brian these days, he's a little, <laughs> he's a little creaky, you know? He, he's, he's, Those fun. knees are, are kind of like mine. They're hanging by a thread. It's oh, got to be a goal. That's a big save. Big save. Up there. Up now. Up now. Ooh. Oh. There we go. There we go. Hey. Pereja's, no, 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 Pereja's not Oscar. happy with the way that your team is playing. Looking as we get, look at. A little driven. Goal. And, and, <sighs> send that Ross. Send that Ross. The big man. Max. So, come on. Look so wait, I've got Ching. I've got Dero. And then I'm going to round it off with Eddie Robinson. Wow. Because that guy is, uh, he would eat me for breakfast. But I think I want, I'm going to go with Brian Mullen. Wow. Oh, yeah. There's a call about Brian guy. Mullen for a shout. Another guy who's got, I think, five MLS Cups in his yeah. bag. So here we go. Oh, it's lovely. Referee. Oh, is that? Oh, I thought I was going to get a red card. I'm always down when the other team gets a red card. Truth be told, I always like to point this out. I never, oh, gosh. Oh, Jesse, what a save. Jesse that. Gonzalez wow. is having the game of the, wow. his life right now. I mean, that is a snap header from six yards out. I don't know how to end, and end up in the back of the net. Look at that. Big save. I like to point out that in my time in Dallas, I never lost to the Dynamo. Um, I don't know. How many what that, games was that? That's not important, Stu. Okay, let's have all that details get uh, <laughs> in the way, way of a good, good story. story. But, uh, you know, we, we struggled actually up there at uh, Frisco. It's a tough place to play. Toyota Park. This is also Find a second stick. Second stick. And... Uh, <sighs> You know, I never played in that new Dynamo Stadium until I did the uh, Kicking for Houston charity. Yeah, event. you did. Oh, that's yeah, a great touch. his pocket. Head just back on Matty. Tight to him, Matty. Tight to him. Just keep him there. Keep him contained. Yeah. Yeah, that's good defending. That's why he was with the national yeah, team for a little why, spell man, there. You know? Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh. Yeah! <laughs> Dale Dynamo! Just smashes this one off in the inside of the post. Cuts inside, moves off the shoulder, and puts it away. What a finish! Lead analyst right there, folks! Lead <laughs> analyst! All right, let's go, team. I'm, okay. Like, who's your favorite defensive partner? Oh, my favorite. You know who I play with just for a brief spell? Uh, Nat Borchers. The Borchman. You the know, Borch. Borchers gets a lot of good 
love from MLS players around the league. He's just like not a flashy guy, not right? The, but just does all the little things, man. The little things. Are we at halftime? Oh, it's halftime. Okay. All right. So the Dynamo so taking a one-nil lead into halftime, 50-50 uh, in possession, which is surprising because the Dynamo really have been dominating the entire first half. Three shots on target, eight shots in total for two against FC Dallas, meaning that the Dynamo have had a serious edge, an edge across the board in passing accuracy, shot accuracy, tactics are spot on, and, and clearly playing against an inferior opponent. There you have it, folks. Lead, okay, <laughs> enough of that nonsense. Okay, hold on. Let's let's take it back to the to the FIFA here, because I feel like I got to get my mojo. You're you're getting me off my game. I'm trying to distract you. It's part right. of my tactic. Right. So like, yeah. you know, that's I like what you're doing there. Come on, keep the ball a little bit. The video game world is not new to you. Yeah, I, uh, I was a uh, undercover um, gamer for a large portion of my uh, teen teens, and uh, I was a professional Counter-Strike player. You I were, used yes. To, yeah, I used to travel with my team. We had an uh, all-star team from Texas. We would travel to tournaments across the United States um, that we would compete in. Uh, I went to a big tournament in Dallas one time with like 10,000 gamers, and we won that tournament, which meant we played in the final here in New York where they sectioned off three blocks of the city. And I was lost in the final, my team lost in the final. And if we had won, we'd have gone to the World Cyber Games, which would have been in China. And I think, I don't know, I've, I'm, I haven't fact checked this, but if I had gone to that, which is an if, I would have perhaps been the first person in the history of the planet to have played in the actual Olympics and then the Cyber Olympics. but. What could have been, my man? man what you know, I lost happened? in that final. It was a heartbreaking final. Wow. Uh, yeah, we lost in overtime, and uh, it's something that still haunts me to this day. I know, like, man. That, yeah, that, that's a tear you saw. Just right think there. of what your life could have but been. But I used to hide the, the, the gamer. Yeah. Part. I think it's on my Wikipedia page now because I quoted it in an ESPN article that when I was asked about it, and I was like, yeah, I used to delete it from my Wikipedia page because it was kind of like you know, break it into soccer that people were Googling me. They're like, oh, he was a pro gamer, which in fact, I am very proud of now and that I was a pro gamer, so. Here's my thing though, is like, you are technically a professional gamer, so I don't feel bad being down one zero. Oh, I just got big boy. One zero to Get professional weights, gamer. Get on the weights, kid. Get on That's the weights. That's it. I mean, so you think maybe, you know, the next EMLS signing could be I mean, I saw that, you know, the Dynamo's EMLS gamer, he won That's the championship, right. the first uh, EMLS Cup. So, um, uh, you know, he's keeping up the tradition of good gamers in Houston. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I was part of that scouting process. They brought me in. We evaluated him. I had told him. I'm, I'm totally kidding. Kim, Kim, Kim Amito, he was the <laughs> champion. He went undefeated. Kid is legit. He is legit. I mean, that's only Houston you just, are all legit. Just so. breed winners, right? Yeah. Bang it. I also used to build computers in high school. Oh! Yes! Come on, man! Yes! You can build a computer out of that. Let's go, big one! <laughs> here we go. What, out of a strike to the near yeah, post? Now gonna... you got to commentate me through this. Come on. Oh, yeah, here we go. Barrios gets a block in. Oh, you know, who's that? Ooh, Roland Lamont. Oh. Near post, though. He gets that... caught at the near post. Yeah. Derek? Yeah. Tyler Derek is. Oh, he got a hand on it. It wasn't man. strong enough. You got to have that one, huh? Yeah. He's going to want that one back, though. So. No spaghetti wrists. Uh, actually, true story here. My my dad, um, my, my Counter Strike team were in the final for the state championship, and it was in Dallas. The same weekend that my soccer team were in the state finals for soccer, which I was injured. It's not going to surprise many. <laughs> uh, and I wanted to go to the Counter Strike tournament because I could play in that. Uh, right. But I couldn't play in the soccer team. And so. It was a big fight with my dad about whether I was gonna go or not, and I loaded my computer into my car. I drove to school that day and was planning to drive to Dallas after school. So I go to the parking lot after class finishes, and my dad is sitting there by my car, waiting for me, making sure that I got on the team bus to wow. go with my team, to support my team, even though I could not play. Um, a, a very important life lesson uh, in retrospect, but one at the time that was not very popular with me. And I went and supported my team. We won the state championship. I did not go to the Counter-Strike one. We lost that one. I was not popular with my teammates, but. Wow, that's tough. Yeah, it was a big decision, man. But I guess that's part of parenting too, which now I have to learn. And hence another reason my gaming career has taken a serious stall because I am a father. Yes, you and, are. Uh, I am now more interested in Anna and Elsa than. Uh, <laughs> and Frozen than, than uh, video games. You obviously played Counter-Strike a lot, and then once you, you know, tabled that to play. I played so a lot of FIFA, yeah. I you played a lot of FIFA? Big FIFA player back in the day, yeah. That was kind of the um, after practice, bring four guys over to my house and we'd play FIFA. Yeah? Like six hours straight, yeah. Who Who's like, if you had to pick one guy, who's the best? 
did you play with? Um, my brother, sadly. <laughs> I need to give him credit. As I smacked oh my oh, gosh, no! Top bin, baby! Look at the little tra half turn here. He just takes it open, opens his body, and smashes it past Gonzalez. He doesn't get his feet set. Can't see it. It comes through the legs of Matt Hedges. In off the post. An absolute screamer! There go. I just, yeah. I don't know if you can handle the push ups, so. Oh, that's what I'm gonna do for playing for foot push ups. Clear it. Uh oh. There it is. Oh! Oh! Come what on. a save! Tyler! Get up! Clear it! No! Hit it to the back stick, man! Ah! Oh. Just take a deep breath. Referee! Deep referee, deep come deep, on, mate! Take a deep breath. Here we go. Now boot it. Foul him! Tactical foul! Ah, oh, come on! No! It. Dang it! Done it. Oh He's man, I'm really The Dynamo done. are celebrating in Frisco. Look at that! Yep. This is so bad. This is so bad. Well done, boys. So we go push ups? Yeah, get down. Uh, all right, let's we go just like nice and 10. That work on that bod, oh, yep. There we go. What do you think? There we go. Two, now three. Go. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Don't Four. Lose the controller. Yeah. Five. Yeah. Yep. Come on. Six. Yeah. Flat back. There we go. How's my Down, core? touch the ground. Core. All the way down. I'm actually enjoying this. <laughs> yeah, keep going. Yeah. How do you think? That's really good form, actually. What do you think? Huh? <laughs> I'm ready. You think any team going? How many is that? Uh, counting over here. You think uh, Oscar's watching this and like, hey man, can they really... can make, maybe he can make a comeback. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. You think uh, 18? He probably he watched 19. Hedges defending on this uh, on the, in this game, and he's thinking he could do with you at center back again. Listen, man. <laughs> I think I got to call up. Now I'm extremely hot and sweaty, which is fine. Listen, More man. When you're not when you're not commentating World Cup games, <laughs> maybe we, maybe you can spare some time to come play with us a little bit more. But Stu, thank you, I think, for beating me. That sucks, man. It's okay, man. It, ha it happens ruined. to the best of us. No, you now you start to get used to it. You know, losing's a habit, too. Come on, Mito. I'm coming for you next. Oh. Rematch in Houston. Me against you, buddy. There it's you on. It. It's on. Stu Holden, Kim and Mito, head to head. We'll get him here, hopefully, on Ultimate Keel. Until then, Stu, thanks, brother, for hanging thanks. out. I'm going to stretch my biceps. Playstation.